Hey guys, and welcome back. Today I have an Urban Outfitters haul for you guys. As you may know, I do work at Urban Outfitters, so I have way too many opportunities to look at all the clothes and buy things and purchase stuff online, so I figured at least I could do a haul for you guys. But before we get into the haul, I wanted to do a really quick shout out to my friend Amanda, who created that amazing, beautiful, creative intro that you guys just saw. And that's all original, all custom by her, and all of her information I will link down below. I absolutely adore the intro, and I hope you guys do too. So if you're interested in seeing her work or anything like that, her info will be down below. Without further ado, let's get into the haul. First, I'm going to start with some accessories. Normally, I don't pick up accessories just because I have my sterling silver staple pieces that I always wear and I don't really switch it up from there and I also don't like to mess with if something will make my fingers green or my neck green or something like that. So normally I stick with those but it's an exception when I find statement pieces that I really like and one of my coworkers actually styled this necklace and I really liked how it looked and I figured it would work well in my wardrobe. So you guys may have seen this in my most recent outfit of the day. It's just kind of like a big necklace, a big-ish, chunky-ish necklace, and it was actually on sale, so that's also what kind of convinced me to get it. So I think it ended up being like maybe $10 for this, which isn't too bad, and I've already worn it quite a bit, so I'm really glad I picked it up. Next is this beautiful backpack that I recently purchased, again from Urban Outfitters, but it's Matt and Nat, and they create vegan leather items, so that's what this is. I really wanted a new kind of everyday bag that was bigger and more of a backpack style. I did a whole video on it, what's in my purse, and it was kind of like a review of the purse, and then also you got to see everything that was in this purse. So if you'd like to know more, I'll link that up here as well as down below. So that's that. And the last accessory piece before I move on to shoes is this gray baseball cap. As you guys probably know, baseball hats have really come into style. I already have a baseball cap that I thrifted and it's red, which I really like, but I really wanted like a neutral one. And unfortunately I didn't thrift one. So this one was probably, I think it was like 15 to $20. And I'm gonna say the prices of everything without my discount, just so you have like the correct frame of reference, point of reference. I think it was like 15 to $20, which is kind of ridiculous for a baseball cap. But I really like it and it's really great to block out eye contact, which I really enjoy doing. Like I'll, I wear this whenever I go like grocery shopping or just like don't feel like making eye contact and it does a great job of that. So I really like this hat. Now moving on to shoes, I have two pairs of shoes to show you. First being this pair of black Birkenstocks. They're just the simple style, the plain ones. I believe they're like $100 and I got them online. I've had Birkenstocks in the past. I knew I'd wear them all the time and that I loved how comfortable they are. And I knew that black would be just such a wearable color for me. And as you can see, I've already gotten a ton of wear out of them. Highly recommend these. The second and final pair of shoes are these kind of cream. They're not camel, they're less camel than I thought they would be. I don't remember what they're called, but they have like the holes. They're not like the snake print ones. And I really wanted a pair of slip-on shoes for a while because I wear like my Air Force Ones as like slip-ons all the time. And so I just wanted kind of a different style, but also definitely this color is what I was looking for. They're also super comfortable. Like I've worn them to work. I just wore them yesterday for like eight and a half hours and they were super comfortable. And my feet are really sensitive. So when I say they're comfortable, that's like really important and says a lot about a pair of shoes. So I highly recommend, I believe these were like $50, which for a pair of like sneaker -ish shoes, I don't think it's too bad and they're stylish and I don't know, they're just really effortless. And next I'm going to move on to the clothing portion of this haul. First, of course, being the shirt that I'm wearing. Again, from Urban Outfitters. It's just this plain, really soft tee that has the nice big scoop or v-neck, I guess it is. And then it has these details of the crosses, which I think is really cool. And of course, that's like the reason why I picked it out. And I thought that this like X detail on the chest was something that like, instead of wearing a necklace, you can wear this. And it's just 
Again, really effortless. I believe this shirt was like 20 to $30, so also not super expensive. I think it was 28 so not super expensive for like a t-shirt. And again, I think the quality is really nice. It's really soft and yeah, I'm enjoying it as you can tell. Next is a little tank top. And for the summer, I love wearing tank tops, just like little crop tops with like a pair of high-waisted shorts. I have like a black one and like a speckled gray and a white one, and they're all more high necks. So I wanted something that was like more of a deep V and a gray color. I adore this because I don't necessarily have to wear a bra. My boobs are a little loose or a little free, but that's okay with me. And yeah, it's just something really comfortable to like lounge around in in the summer. And I believe this was like 18 bucks, which again isn't too bad. Next is a shirt that I have. I got it quite a while ago. This is definitely like a collective haul over the past couple of months. I got this a while ago when I was in Kansas. It's just this white linen long sleeve raw hem sleeves and like bottom seam is that what it's called seam also again like effortless i don't know it's really something like i've been wearing it with my mom jeans really simply it kind of has that like with the linen look and then the light wash it looks very casual but like kind of chic i feel like and i sized down so it wasn't too like overwhelming on my body because it is somewhat oversized and really doesn't have much of a fit to it and this was actually on sale and i believe it was like 19.99 next is more of not like a statement piece but it's really an interesting cut and kind of a style that you wouldn't see on a lot of t-shirts or at a lot of places so it's just this silence and noise black shirt rib detailing it's this really soft material it's three quarter length and then it has a deep v but the interesting part about it is it has these two ties in the front and you can do them three different ways that i've found that i like is either doing like a choker effect having them not tied at all and that's more casual or doing just like one little knot or like two knots loosely so that it's kind of in that deep v i think it's really different and I believe this also wasn't super expensive. I want to say like 30 to $40. I would recommend sizing down just because the material is kind of like slinky, like a bodysuit type of material would be. So yeah, I would just recommend sizing down if you want it to be a little bit tighter and then you should be good. But I still really like it and I know I'm going to wear it all the time. One more piece from Urban Outfitters and it is this another black long sleeve shirt. Again, I sized down in this as well because I didn't want it to be too oversized. It's a sweatshirt material with raw hems again. It has these like tie up in the front and so I really like this because I like also being casual as I've already said but you can also wear it a little fancier like without wearing a bra and then it's a little more sexy and then wearing like high-waisted shorts or something. I've worn this countless times like to the airport but also like going to a concert and everything and I believe this was on the more expensive side so I'd say like 50 to 60 range. But and then the last thing I wanted to include, this isn't from Urban Outfitters, it's actually from Nordstrom but it's Free People brand but I wanted to show it just because I'm totally in love with it. It's this kind of like I think you would call it a play suit, like halter neck, culotte, play suit type of thing in this really nice floral pattern. And it has like a cutout in the middle and the whole back is open and it's just really spring summery and it fit really well. It's really like flowy and light so it's literally perfect for the summer and it was on sale for $65. So I had to pick it up. This was like a sweet find that is also like, I don't know, I don't really wear floral that much, but it's like a black navy base color with some like more darker toned floral. So it's definitely more up my alley than like a pink floral or something. So totally love that. And that concludes my haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed and got to see like what I'm loving and what I just got and most of the links will be able to be down below except for maybe some of the sale things might not still be available but whatever I can link I will link down below and 
I think that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!